What is going on everybody coming to you with another trailer reaction and before I get started let you know I do comic book reviews, trailer reactions, uh, commentating, podcasts, all kind of good stuff. Any recommendations down below if you want me to check it out, review, whatever, let me know and if you're new hit the subscribe button, comment down below, join, follow, join Discord, anything. Okay, now there's a new movie that's coming out. It's called Transformers Rise of the Beast. Now if you have not been following... Uh, Transformers, the series, as far as the movies, I think the first one came out in 07, then I think another one came out in 09, and then it, it's kind of like every two years, something like that, and I was really, I'm one of the people, the few people, that was a fan of the films, I, I was fascinated, I was fascinated with Optimus, Bumblebee was okay, Optimus was probably more, I was more fascinated with Optimus, uh, cause I grew up, you know, I was born in the 80s. I used to watch Transformers, um, and uh, yeah, so when you grow up to that, and I grew up with Ninja Turtles, so and so, obviously they were all, both of those films were, except for the old Ninja Turtles movies, but was directed by Michael Bay, right? Uh, this was, is it directed by Michael Bay? I don't know. I, don't, I, I would have to look into it. Probably, I, I want to say it is, but I, I, I don't know that much about it. This is my first initial reaction first i haven't even seen it i just saw that there was a post of it and i saw people had reacted to it and i was like i'm not even gonna watch none of that i need to see it in person or live with a reaction myself so we're gonna go ahead and check this out go ahead and check it out for millions of years I'm not the one to fear, Prime. Oh! There is a darkness coming. Bubble B. Pull over! I'm not driving! <laughs> right. Yo. Of all the threats from both your past. Was that Edis Elba? And future. Sounds like Edis Elba. Edis Elba. I'm saying that right, right? You've never faced anything like this. Let them come. Yo. And if you don't know, that you know. Scary room. Scary room. Oh, okay, scary room. That's a good way to exit a vehicle. Um. So, what do we see? It sounds like it's the same guy that's been doing all of Optimus's voiceovers. I can't think of his name, but he's been doing this since 1984. Same dude. He's done every series, animated, the game, all the movies. The guy's like got to be like 90 years old. It sounds like the same guy. I wanted to check. Like I said, I don't know even who, who directed it. I must have missed it. Was it even on the screen? Let me uh, check it out. Um, comes out in 2023. We have, yep, his name is Peter Collin. Peter Collin, Optimus Primal. Okay, no, that was not Eater's Elba. That was Rod Perlman. I thought I could get it right. I guess I was wrong on that. So, um, 
yeah, so we have the cast. It looks like it had Pete Davidson, Mirage. The star is going to be Anthony Ramos. I don't know this guy. Dominique Flashback. I thought that was her. I've seen her before. I don't. I don't know. I don't know much about. I didn't know her name, but I've seen her in plenty of films. All right. So, what this film is, it does not have of uh, any any characters from the past, like Mark Wahlberg or or Shia or uh, even the side characters or the little Hispanic chick. Uh, it doesn't have none of them. It just kind of just moved forward. But I, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm one of the few people who actually enjoyed the series of Transformers. Uh, I just was just fascinated with the... I didn't really care for 5. I think 5 was kind of suspect. You know, I, I, I'll i be honest with you. Transformers 5 was... Uh, it, it was... It was okay. I mean... I... I I've probably seen one probably at least four or five times. The first one. Seen the second one, the second, third. The second one probably when he went to college. I've probably seen that one probably about three or four times. Back then, I was collecting all the DVDs. This is back when DVDs was still a thing. And, um, yeah, so. That's definitely, definitely got to see it. Now, what, what I'm seeing in this film is. It didn't show, it did not show Megatron. Or or it is, it is or or uh, Star Scream. It didn't show none of them. It just showed a war, like a open field war. And it's, it's, I'm, I'm very interested of the of the plot. And who is who is directing this film? Does it say who's directing the film? Uh Let's go back. Who's directed the film? Uh, directed by Stephen Capel. So this is not a Michael Bay film. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I don't see Michael Bay. No, wait a minute. Nope. Yeah. I, I, I'm definitely gonna put it on my to watch list. Uh, we're gonna wait to the second trailer, and uh, we'll we'll give it a shot. We'll see what it's we'll see what it's talking about. So, uh, guys, tell me what you guys think. Um, you think this is a must watch or must see? We'll see when we get an official full trailer of more scenery and action, and uh, we'll make that decision. Right now, it looks like it's it look like it might be. Got new actors, new faces, new people. Might be like kind of like MCU Phase Eight. I don't know, <laughs> but we'll check it out. Deuces.